Aloha everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're exploring Oahu and we're going to the Dole Plantation which is where Dole Whips are born. Yeah I just noticed that this is over 120 years old so that's pretty exciting. We're gonna I think do their their maze they got a train. Hey. They've got a bunch of pineapple things. They got Dole Whips. Yes. <laughs> Come with us on this adventure. different attractions here at the Dole Plantation. There's the world's largest maze, the Pineapple Express train, and then there's also the Plantation Garden Tour. One thing I didn't realize is this is actually the world's largest maze, at least according to the 2008 Guinness Book of World Records. Did you know that? I didn't. Are we actually confident that we're gonna get through this entire maze? I mean, I'm sure kids do it, right? Uh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> it looks like the Pineapple Express train takes you on a 20 minute tour around the pineapple fields in various stages of growth. Yeah, one of my favorite rides is living with the land. So I'm pretty excited to take this train tour to see how it compares. Yeah. I, I mean, have a feeling it's gonna be pretty, <laughs> pretty good. Can a train ride beat the boat tour? Nothing could beat living with the land. Let's get real. But I'm excited to, to see all these pineapples in their various stages of growth. <laughs> How exciting. There's no other way I'd want to spend my Monday. I love this sign. Spread aloha, not germs. You could buy tickets for each individual attraction or they have combo deals. We decided to get all three and it was $25. Not bad, right? And I think we've decided we want to do the train first, so we're headed over there right now. Like a lot of the businesses around Hawaii, they're really taking the pandemic seriously. So here they're enforcing social distancing, including on the attractions. I saw they were loading every other row of the train and they were also telling people to keep their masks on. So a safe family experience. Spread aloha, not germs, Peter. Is that a gecko? Yeah. Hi. We saw our first Hawaiian gecko. I feel like the only wildlife that we've seen so far are like chickens and roosters, so that was like pretty exciting. This train is called the Pineapple Express. It is. I didn't realize that until now. I love that movie. That's fun. so funny. I think this what, is... what came first, the movie or the train? My guess is the train, right? Thank you. Thank you. All aboard the Pine Pineapple Express. Can't even talk. <laughs> pretty tight fit here. Yeah, but we got a front row. This is like a tiny little train. I don't know, I was expecting like a full full scale train for some reason. <laughs> this is really cute. I feel like the Dole Plantation is kind of what Walt Disney wanted when he wanted to build the train around the Walt Disney Studios, like the original version of Disneyland. That's what this feels like. <laughs> Kind of enjoyable it's slow moving you're going past like everything that they're growing here at the gold plantation i don't feel like we're learning much because the narration like we're right behind the train is making a lot of noise and also the narration's coming out of the speaker that's up there pointing backwards so it's hard for us to hear anything we can't hear anything but that said it's a leisurely enjoyable ride through the plantation. That's where the pineapples are, Peter. I'm not sure why I thought that the train ride would be better than it was. It was relaxing. It got some wind in, wind in my face. Yeah, you almost fell asleep. But it, it's basically, you're just riding through the Dole Plantation, seeing section after section of them growing stuff. Yeah. There's signs in front of each thing. Oh, here's some bananas. Here's some pineapples. Here's a solar farm. There's like these weird cutouts of Hawaiian workers like working on, on the farm. It's really, really strange. And then they have a bunch of equipment that doesn't look like it's been used in 
decades. Like it's been sitting there, like it's in disrepair. That did not compare to living with the land. Living with the land is a million times better. Yeah. But also, we couldn't really hear the narrator, so like, who knows what he was even saying? Every once in a while, I just heard like pineapple or dole. Yeah. That's all I could really pick up. So. We were excited to go on this ride, so we were like the first in line. And don't be the first in line because that means that you are also right behind the engine, which makes a lot of noise. What's the uh, What's the kitcher rating? We're rating the train ride now. Yeah. Um. Maybe like one out of five <laughs> or a half out of five. I literally almost fell asleep. I'm not joking. I, I'm more tired now than I was when I, before we got on the train. So yeah. I have to give this a one and a half out of five Peters. I feel like the best part of this, they dropped us off next to some cardboard cutouts to take some photos. So let's go see what they got. Aloha everybody. And welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. <laughs> no. No? Do I look like a pineapple? <laughs> Yep. Like, do I blend in? Totally. I feel like a pineapple. Okay, next up, we're going to go to the pineapple garden maze. It's one of the world's biggest mazes. Hopefully, this is better than the train ride. We could get the CD of the exclusive Pineapple Express CD for $5 if you show your train ride ticket or $15 without. Should we get that? There is a CD player in the rental car. No, we don't need it. We don't? We got to listen to it for free in the train ride. But we couldn't hear it. I can hear enough of it. You could? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm just saying the option's there. We have until the end of the day to think about it. So apparently there's a game to this maze. You gotta find the eight stations within the maze in the fastest time. I just thought we were gonna walk around. Now and now that I know that we're being timed, I'm kind of nervous. Are you excited to play the game, Peter? This is kind of like, you could see the map here, or the maze, excuse me. It doesn't look like the biggest maze in the world, but it does look hard. Download the free maze app, enhanced maze experience. Automatically track your time in maze stations you've found. Share results by email or on Facebook. Ever since I saw Labyrinth as a kid, I always wanted to go in like one of those huge like hedge mazes. I've seen like a lot of videos of, like there's mazes, but it's like it's like this. Where it's like down low. You can see over it. What what's the challenge in that? Yeah, I haven't been I don't know if I've ever been in a maze before a maze before, like a real maze. So, do you think we'll be able to see over? Because I don't see anybody's hmm. heads popping out. I don't know. This is exciting. So this right here is a gigantic pineapple in the center. And now we're entering the hedge maze, which, you're right, it actually is tall enough that you can't kind of see over it. So maybe it's going to be a challenge. I mean, this is made for kids, so how much of a challenge could this actually be? Is this a place where you go through, or is this just... I think so. It's like a hole. I'm already lost. Let me out! It's been 24 days. So are we actually trying to play this game because there was one over there that we missed? Or are we just walking around aimlessly? I think we're walking around. I'm about okay. to give up on the game. Yeah, so let's just let's walk around and see if we can make our way to back to the center again. Okay. <laughs> if you see. What? Peter, please tell him to send help. Tell him that I am. Tell him that I am somewhere in the maze. I'm not quite sure where because I still haven't found any of the 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 eight markings yet. Get through them right over send. here. Oh. Hey. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm not sure this is a fun game, but I will say this: this it's a maze, fun maze, this maze is a, a lot bigger than I thought it was. The world's biggest maze, Peter. <laughs> oh my God, I just had an amazing idea. What? I could take this GoPro. <laughs> go like this. Yeah, that's I think that's cheating, actually. Oh, I found the pineapple again. Okay, I think we just made our way. I think this is literally where we entered the maze. <laughs> we did it! Victory! Peter! No, we literally entered and exited from the same place. 
so oh wait no we didn't make it because this hedge is here and we can't get out so we're technically still in the maze oh wait no he he's out again so this right here is the top of the pineapple so we are in the center of the maze right now we are we made it back out to the pineapple so i'm really proud of us okay let's go that way yeah let's go that way i don't know i'm just really excited for this maze okay peter <laughs> oh no my pencil which way do we go do we go this way or do we go this way mm -hmm. <laughs> Which way do we go? That way. Which way do we go? Yeah. Okay, can you stop this? This way, this way, we're free. We haven't found a single one of these spots. Yeah, we're not doing good. We're now like 48 hours into this maze. <laughs> I don't know what... I could really use a Dole Whip right about now. As soon as we find the center again, maybe let's go reward ourselves with with a Dole Whip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I found one over here, but is this like, I'm gonna use this cheat. Ugh, through here. We found one. <laughs> I found it, it's over here. I found the exit. <laughs> Great job. Thank you. We're not half bad at this maze thing, oh, are we? Even though we gave up really quickly and we really just want a, a dole whip. We found one marking, so I feel accomplished. So they actually have a bunch of like plate lunches here. Like you can get Kahlua pork, you can get some hamburgers, you can get a fish combo, spicy chicken sandwich. But that's not why we are here. We are here for the dole whip. So you can get it in a cone, in a cup, in a cup with topping, waffle cone, waffle bowl, pineapple split. Wow. $30. Wow. I'd do it. Pineapple float and a sipper cup float. Oh, that is like a souvenir sipper cup. These all look really delicious, but I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna get the cup, but I'm gonna add that extra topping of pineapples. Does that sound good to you? Sounds good to me. This? smells so pineapple-y, so delicious, so amazing. When is the last time we had a Dole Whip? I think we had it at City Walk, but the last real Dole Whip that we had? February or January. Oh yeah, I think we actually had it when we went to Walt Disney World, so March. So I guess it hasn't been that long, but regardless, this is the real deal here, people. And I cannot wait. Get those extra pineapple chunks on there. <laughs> why is this so good i never used to like love dole whips i always remember it being like that disneyland thing that everybody talked about and i never like understood the hype for it but i'm here to tell you the hype is real i want to go back and get like every single thing on the menu <laughs> i even saw that they had like a pineapple like vanilla swirl like that would be good that that banana split or the pineapple split would be good. Pineapple split looks amazing. Mm -hmm. oh, are we sharing this? Yes. You know this gets the ordinary adventure pineapple star of approval. What are you doing if you come to the Dole Plantation and you don't get a Dole Whip? Like that's literally the whole point. Here, you could have some. You know what? <laughs> we made it through that train ride. We made it through the maze. And this is the prize. This is like the, you know, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh my gosh, it looks like a pot of gold. <laughs> okay, here we go. That tastes better than I remember, huh? Well, I don't think I've ever had Dole Whip with like chunks of pineapple on top. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've definitely had that like bowl, the Dole Whip, uh, what do you call that? Where it's like the liquid? Float? The float. So there is some pineapple juice and maybe some chunks of pineapple in that. I don't think I've had it mixed with pineapple. This is um, this is like game changing. Why doesn't Disney do this? Do know. they do that? I don't know. I don't know. Come here to the Dole Plantation. You can maybe skip the train. If you have a little one who just wants to take a train ride, it might be worth it. The maze, same thing. <laughs> Adults, skip it. Go to the gift shop, get some Dole Whip uh, merchandise and enjoy yourself one of these bad boys.
I feel like this was worth the trip to Hawaii. I can have the rest of this, right? No. Okay, bye. No! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware that we were sharing that Dole Whip, so I was still a little hungry and I had to go back in and grab myself a chocolate covered pineapple. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest. It almost looks like a chocolate covered banana, so hopefully they gave me the right one. There's no graceful way to do this, so just take a big old bite. <laughs> this is amazing. How come I've never tried a chocolate covered pineapple before? Yeah, I've only done bananas. I know that they sell these at Disneyland. It is very chocolate heavy with just like a hint of that sweet, juicy pineapple in the middle, but it gets a five out of five. Come on, you can't go wrong with a chocolate covered pineapple. Try this when you come here. I, I can't have a bite. Okay, yeah, you can have a bite. I don't know if you're gonna like it though. I'm interested to see what you think. <laughs> Were you taping it? I think so, yeah. We're gonna have to put that in slow-mo. <laughs> what do you think? That's really good. I will say that the chocolate is very thick. Yeah. I was expecting it to be a thin layer of chocolate, but like you actually have to like kind of crunch into it. I don't think I love it as much as you. I think the chocolate overwhelms the pineapple. So you can have the rest of this, but Thank you. I will give it like a four out of five Peters. It is very good. It's just that Dole Whip is Yeah, it's just not your thing. It's more my thing. That's yeah. why I bought it for myself. So here you go. Thank you. I just want to warn you guys. When they say this is a pineapple spear, they weren't <laughs> kidding. This is like, why is this so sharp? It's like a popsicle stick on the bottom and then on the top, I mean, I guess it's because I had to like jam it into the pineapple, yeah. but so be careful. If, you know, I almost like cut <laughs> the top of my mouth open. So I just want to just, you know, spread the awareness yeah. of these chocolate covered pineapples. While they're delicious, they are deadly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just found a Dole Whip plantation cat. And right behind the cat is a Dole Whip plantation rooster. What is that? The sign on the table says, please do not feed or touch the animals. Don't worry, I won't, but. So cute. I think it's time to go inside and check out some of that Dole Plantation merch. But first, I wanted to just give a quick shout out to some of our Patreon members. That includes Tiffany Lopez, Emma, JD Cook, and Alyssa and Jordan Grubbs. Thank you guys. Outside the store, you can actually get your penny pressed with an actual Dole Whip. I don't even think Disney has a Dole Whip on a penny, but you can get it here. This gift shop is huge. Yeah, this is epic. This is only one of the rooms. First thing when you walk in, they have all these Dole pineapple shirts. And I'm not normally the type that like, would get like a souvenir shirt for some place, but I actually really like this because there's like these bright neon colors. Look at these. How fun is this? And if that's not your thing, you know, they have the the pineapples. Get it? The like, iconic Beatles <laughs> album. Yeah, but the pineapples. I mean, I have to, if you have to explain a joke, then it's obviously hilarious. Peter, if you want this shirt, I will buy it for you. I, I don't need it. You don't? No. Oh, I like the colors of those other t-shirts. I think I like this one because it feels like more of an authentic, like, retro. Like, this is the label of the sign that would have been out here when this place opened. Okay, so I saw that first initial batch of t-shirts. And then we came over here and there's literally 500 t-shirts to choose from. I am a little bit overwhelmed. I was like, oh, cute. They just have, like, the dull shirt, bright colored dull shirts. Nope. Oh my god, Peter. It's like that Beatles shirt again, but this one says this. <laughs> this is the one, I think. I, think, is... I think you're losing it. <laughs> like, why, why does this shirt exist? And why do I want it? 
<laughs> Look at this guy in the Hawaiian t-shirt eating a Dole Whip. The pineapple eating a Dole Whip. That's, he's a cannibal. <laughs> you see this one right here? Oh, okay. This might be the one. This Classic pineapple. It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't. Look at this little guy right here. Yeah. It's called a squishable, a mini squishable. It looks cute. It does look cute. But it's not dull, you know. It's yeah. not by dull, so I don't okay. need it. What is our most favorite thing about Hawaii so far, would you say? Food? Besides the food. It's all the roosters and the chickens. I mean, it's the best of both worlds. Pineapples and roosters. Yeah. Even has your butt check right there. It does, and it looks good. <laughs> Kit Kitra approved. And if you like the roosters, this dull plantation shirt has a rooster on top of a pineapple. I'm not even sure I understand what this means. Do cats like sleep on pineapples? Look at this. These t-shirts are dyed in real pineapple. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Do you think they smell like pineapples? They don't. <laughs> is this Baby Yoda as a pineapple? Do you need that one? <sighs> yes. I like so many of these t-shirts. Peter, please send help. I don't, please tell me I don't need any of these. Kitro likes like the worst kitschy things as you've seen. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a joke. I don't think it is. I think she, she just honestly, authentically likes them. So there's so much of this here, which is gonna be a problem. Oh my gosh. <gasps> these smell like pineapples. Pineapple scented. This is the best gift shop we've been to since the one in Alani. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, dog treats! They have a lei made out of dog treats. You're telling me that Pixel and Gizmo don't need this? They absolutely do not need that. But it's like a lei for dogs with dog treats. I, I understand. And it's official Dole Plantation merch, honey. I'm not even sure this is officially made for the Dole Plantation. It just has a pineapple, it's a hula dancer, and it's this Hawaiian plantation. They have it in a variety of bag so variations. Cute. I found this baby pineapple in a pineapple can. I think I think it's like a stuffed a little stuffed animal inside of the can. You don't need it. You don't. You you, on, you, you only have enough space in your bag. I should have not spent money on that chocolate pineapple and spent money on this is what I should have done. Who needs Duffy when you can get one of these guys? I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. Oh, this is clever. It's a pineapple scented candle and it's in a coconut. This, all this, this whole section of the store smells so amazing. They even have soaps and lotions. This has real pineapple chunks in it. Ah, yeah. oh, we're sorry this item is not for sale. Way to get my hopes up. Well, Dolphin. they have a small version. Yeah, but right I, down here. I saw this guy from a mile away and I wanted this one. Look at this one. This almost looks like a... <gasps> <laughs> is that the story you're like pencils or something? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just this part of it. It's like a wiener dog. Yeah. <laughs> Is this not the most beautiful Christmas tree that you've ever seen in your entire life, Peter? <laughs> oh my gosh, look, this is actually kind of cute. Golden pineapple. Yeah, a little pineapple ornament. We don't need it because it's not movie related. Look, but they even got that like bear creature guy. <laughs> yep. It could be our new tree topper. <laughs> They actually have Hello Kitty Dole Plantation merchandise. They even have a Hello Kitty little plush holding her pineapple. Why is it orange? I don't know. Good question, Peter. But if if that isn't good enough for you, you can get her in a little pineapple outfit as well. They have little baby onesies. This one says, I'm feeling prickly. I like, I like the drawing on that one. <laughs> okay, I think I've found something that I actually might need. Peter wants to buy it for me. They have these neck pillows for the airplane, but it's Dole Plantation Hawaii. 
And yeah. it's a pineapple. Yeah, this would be awesome if it smelled like pineapple. So like the whole plane ride, you'd just be like, ah, remember the dull, remember that train ride and the pineapple express at the dull plantation? <laughs> I'll oh. never forget those memories. But what if I want to forget that train ride? So you know how we always say that little kids have the best merch? Yeah. This is proof. Oh, it's the Minions, but they're pineapple. Yeah. How? I mean, I would get that if it was for adults. If you think about it, shouldn't they be dull bananas? Not pineapple, because they love bananas. Oh, yeah. You're right. So right outside the woman's restroom, they have a painting, a photo, something. That is the maze that we went through earlier. And that was the gigantic pineapple in the center. And you can now see why we failed. Because it is big. I mean, it says it's the world's largest. They even got their own Hawaii Dole Plantation masks. And the Hello Kitty masks. How fun is that? Check this out, Peter. You could get a big rig, but it's for the Dole Plantation. So it's a, a big rig truck carrying pineapples for five and up. You know, if I was a kid, I probably would have wanted this. Yeah, this is actually pretty cute. Oh, for a second here, I thought this was going to say it smelled like pineapples. It doesn't. They do have pineapple scented hand sanitizer, but it's not made by Dole. I swear they have like 500 different Dole plantation t-shirts. These are dirt shirts what, what does that mean look at that it's actually hand washed in dirt and it says that because of the dyeing process every item will be slightly different because they're all dirty in their own way see you got something for everything everyone <laughs> should, should, should i get a dirt washed t-shirt i support whichever shirt you want to get my love now that you're a hat person do you want one of these dole plantation hats you could find me the Dull Plantation hat with either Baby Yoda or the Minions on it, then yes. But I didn't see any of those. So right here they have a bunch of pineapple candy, but the one that struck my eye is the pineapple lava bears. Are those like gummy bears? What is a lava bear? Yeah, this is kind of crazy. All of this candy and stuff is actually made by Dole. I've never seen Dole candy anywhere. I wonder if it's only like here. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. I mean, they, this is just chewy pineapple candy. Hmm. But I mean, they have so many different things. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Peter, they have a whole big thing full of chocolate covered pineapples. So we could take it home with us. <laughs> I feel like this would melt before we got home. But oh my God, this is like heavy. Right here they have the sauces. So they got a barbecue sauce, a hot mustard sauce, but this is the one I'm interested in. Oh my gosh. The pineapple syrup. Like, what do you put that on? Great on pancakes, waffles, your favorite ice cream, and much more. Can you imagine that on, like, pancakes? <laughs> this hot mustard sauce is made with pineapple juice. I don't even like hot mustard, but I want to try this. Look at that, they even got pineapple flavored gumballs. Are you trying to see if you have a quarter? <laughs> you living your best style in life? <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Over here you can actually buy Sugar cane. Ooh. Like, do you chew on it? How does that work? I don't know. Huh. Apparently they grow it here at the Dole Plantation. I'm telling you, this store never ends. It just keeps on going and going <laughs> and going. It's crazy. They also have a bunch of cotton candy, like this pineapple coconut. In case you want a magnet for your fridge to commemorate this trip, they got that too. But the funny one is <laughs> the one that's commemorating the Pineapple Express train ride. You don't want it? <laughs> I feel like that'd get in the way of me like opening the fridge. Peter, why don't you want to always remember this memory with me? Like I said, I want to forget that train ride. <laughs> if you want to see more videos from our Hawaiian adventure, we'll put the playlist right over there. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Bye.